Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. And since Barrett's blasting the hell out of whoever possibly comes against him, let's go help him out in doing that. I'm sure uh, Tiki can beat the crap out of a couple of uh, those guys with their fists. And I can behead a few with my sword, that'll be fun. These guys are interesting. This is your arrow combatant. And if you let them stay alive long enough, they will actually drop from their propellers and basically have a second stage. At least I believe that's the way they work, or they just land on the ground. Either way. Anyway, Tifa's got a limit. Let's make use of that. Now, I think I mentioned it before, but if she gets miss on her slot reel, she actually won't execute the attack. So you want to make sure that uh, you actually get the attack executed uh, without missing. Otherwise, you won't be able to do any damage. And when she has to make use, you know, actually use her level 1 limit break in order to gain her level 2 limit break, uh, or her second part of her level 1 limit break, whatever, um, if she uses her... If she misses, she doesn't get any points toward it. Oh, look at that. Jesse's still alive. Don't say last. I, I was just thinking for a second that trying to remember if that affected the uh, dating sequence, and I don't believe it does. So your punishment... Well, not quite. Your punishment is... Yeah, I think uh, Jesse's... Uh, Punishment is having to work with Barrett all the time, blasting that gun all over the place, beating the crap out of Wedge. You never know, Wedge could come flying out at any time and just tumble right into you. Except for now, because he's kind of dead. Ah, well, no big loss. Wedge is always dying anyway. They're attacking from the helicopter. Better equip themselves. Okay, now we can go into the menu, and I'm just going to adjust my materia, get Barrett some stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, ready to go. And since we got an option to equip ourselves, it only makes sense that there's an incoming boss. And here he comes now. Oh, I remember this guy. Once you push the button, well, if you let him hit the button, then you're gonna figure out what it is, and it's probably not gonna be good. So Barrett, you probably should have shot the guy before he pressed the button. Mission accomplished. You took two seconds to do it. Oh, he set a bomb. Right. That's what he was doing. I remember. I remember. Reno and the Turtle. Or Reno, depending on how you want to pronounce his name. Anyway, this is the boss, Reno. And he's not really weak to anything. I think he's sort of weak to magic in general. But he has this unique uh, ability. He can trap you in a pyramid. And in order to break the pyramid, you actually have to... Yeah, she's going to miss a lot because she's still in fury. She's also going to get the limit a lot. But yeah, in order to break your character out of that pyramid, you actually have to physically attack it. You won't lose any HP for it, but uh, you'll definitely have to uh, try and take it out there. Otherwise, you won't be able to do anything. Seems to not like Tifa. And since uh, spells seem to be doing a bit more than uh, my physical attacks at this point, let's uh, stick with some spells for now. Anyway, ice again. He did some pretty good damage with his, uh, what is that, wand, rod, whatever it is. Anyway, not too much to worry about in this fight. Still in the uh, intro level of uh, boss fights. Anyway, Barrett. No, he's got nothing to steal, so you don't have to worry about that. Apparently, he's not very weak to bolt, but then again, that could be just because he's not uh, very good with the magic, Barrett. He's um, probably one of the better physical attackers in the game, considering. Uh, uh, bolt wasn't very good. Let's use normal attack. Considering all characters are pretty much clones of each other. Do some fire spells, some ice spells. Barrett can heal himself so he doesn't die. 
Are you done yet? There you go. It's time. Time to peace out. And he's gone. We just let him run away. Because... Now, makes sense that he could do it. We can do it. Just not from boss fights. And we get another. That's pretty cool. And Tifa gets spun around. And he commits suicide. He's gone. We'll never see him again. Okay, and at this point, we get to run around. It's a time bomb! No. Try it. How would I know what to do with it? Oh yeah, right. Soldier. Apparently he knows the inner workings of all of Shinra because of that. He's part of the military. He probably doesn't know any more than the security guards that happen to work at the plants. They probably know nothing about how to disarm a bomb. He might in Soldier, but I doubt it since there doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, bombs in this game, period. Other than the ones that Barrett set, and then Barrett set, and this one. Not a good example to set, eh? There aren't very many for the rest of the game. It'll blow anyone touches it. Oh, so it's tamper-proof. And who is this guy? This is Tseng. I'm assuming that's kind of how you pronounce his name? I don't know. But this is, uh, I think this is the first time we've actually met this guy. And you need uh, Shinra's ID, I guess, in order to figure out this stuff. And Barrett's going to do the intelligent thing and shoot him in the face. And miss. And miss. And miss. What special guest? And of course they had to kidnap Eris. Why not? Oh, so he just wanted her for the reasons that the Turks want her for. I was about to say they just wanted a hostage, but no, that's not right. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Tseng. Now, Eris, jump off the helicopter, we'll catch you, and we won't have to do this anymore. Apparently, I guess someone's holding her, or she's handcuffed or something, because she doesn't do anything. The last remaining agent. I guess that doesn't really refer to her age, because she's not that ancient. Hmm. Now you can report back to the president. Oh, so Marlene's alright. That's good. And she gets bitch slapped. Shouldn't you be the one doing that, uh, Tifa? Nah, well. And the music changes. Oh, so now that you've sat around here with a time bomb with a time limit that none of us seem to know, you're now finally thinking about it and you're gonna run away. You should have done that a long time ago. You shouldn't have come to gloat about capturing Eris. But if he didn't, then we wouldn't have a plot to go to once we're done dealing with this. Sorry if I seem a little skeptical or hypercritical today. I just happens to be how I feel today. I don't know. Anyway, we gotta figure out what's going on. Okay, let's let Barrett go over here. Once he pops up here, he's going to figure something out. He's going to talk to uh, Tifa there. And up you get. Come on. There we go. And Cloud has a very strange position <laughs> in this flight. <laughs> uh, they're riding his arms. Go figure. Anyway, they've dropped the plate. And that's the plate, I guess. So I guess that's what they mean by it's a floating city. So that part kind of appears to float. And I guess they all die. Squish. I hope you got everything you wanted out of uh, Sector 7 because we're not going back there anytime soon. In fact, we're never going back there. It's gone. Written off the map. And because he's an evil, rich son of a bitch, he's listening to opera or some other thing in his huge, massive penthouse while watching the destruction. How many times have they done that in anime and movies and hell, even games? That's just nuts. Do that so often. What a sad thing. They took out the entire 
entire pillar just to get at us and then I guess they took out Jesse and Biggs and Wedge. But apparently, yeah, Barrett's worried about Marlene not realizing that Tifa had already asked Eris to, you know, get her to safety and she's informed us that she's safe. Biggs, unfortunately, and Wedge, and Jesse, we'll never see again. They're gone. What the hell is it all for? See, in this game it makes sense. Barrett's pissed off more than... Well, he's sad, yes, but he's pissed off. In other games, especially the first Final Fantasy with voice acting, they're a little more over the top and whiny and annoying. But that's kind of unfair, because even though it's really funny to laugh at the voice acting from Final Fantasy X, I do like the game. I find the games really a lot of fun to play. Not something I'll look at Let's Playing anytime soon, but oh well. Anyway, now that Barrett's, uh, I guess, cried himself uh, into exhaustion, Tifa finally de <laughs> deems it worthy to tell him now that she's probably alive. She was probably talking about Marley. It doesn't explain why she knows this, but oh well. I guess it's understood that they, or she conveyed what she asked Eris to do or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, he knows that, you know that, we all know that. Yep, they died protecting their city. I'm sure they have no regrets about that. You don't want to think of them as dead. Well, what do you want to think of them as? Sacrificed? Martyred? Yeah, they did. They took out an entire city. Well, I guess Midgar itself is an entire city, but these are like slums or like small areas of a big town, so suburbs, I guess, kind of, in a way. Well, innocent people lost their lives when you bomb the uh, reactors as well. Most of those people working at the reactors wouldn't have had anything to do with Shinra's master plan. But all those uh, evil things that the company does is all the higher-ups. But yeah, I guess we could blame the Shinra. That makes sense. Line their pockets with gold. I want golden pockets. Well, not really. I just want lots of gold to sell and make money. <laughs> they are going to kill the planet. We know that. So we have to keep fighting, or at least Bear is going to keep fighting. What am I going to do? I'm a mercenary. What am I going to do next? Done this job, done that job, got back to where I started. Why did I want to come back here again? Why didn't I just bail and go do the next mercenary job I could find. Hmm. What about you? Yeah, what are you gonna do, Cloud? Yo! Where is he going? Oh, yeah, I guess we have to go protect her. We're still technically her bodyguard, I guess. And so Barrett has to do something about it as well. Ain't no turning back now. Anyway, one last look at the Sector 7. Well, the gate, before we take off. And oddly enough, at this point, you can actually get kind of lost because you have no party and there's no way to assume that you have to keep going in order for the scene to trigger and you get your party members back. Eh, it's a little nitpick, but I think they should have just given you your party at this point and scrubbed the rest of this dialogue. Or done this dialogue up there without Cloud walking away. So what? It's about the Ancients. What about the Ancients? Blood of the Ancients. One of the right players. 
Was that a line from Eris? I can't remember. Sephiroth? They continue to talk about Sephiroth, huh? Anyway, once I get my team back, I can head back here and pick up this materia. The sense materia. And if we go down this way... Alright, I just cut the walk back off. There's no point in showing it. Basically, Eris hid Marlene. We have to go find Marlene. Where do you think she is? The only place we know other than the, uh, uh, the church there that has anything to do with Eris. So it would make sense that she would leave Marlene with someone instead of just sitting in an empty church. Go away! I got flies dive bombing me or moths or whatever the thing is. What about it? Oh yeah. I guess Cloud's got something to uh, tell her about that. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not a very good bodyguard and they kind of took your daughter. Oh, so she already knows about that. Huh. The sole surviving ancient. I guess that's an old race. Yeah, you're her mother. No, not a real mother. And... Far away place called Wutai. But we'll never go there. No. Anyway, we get flashbacks. Hmm. Oh, okay. So he was going to be on leave, so you get to have a little reunion. That's nice. And she comes to the station, gets to watch everyone else have a great reunion, and wait for her husband to hop off the train. Oh, look at that. The train's arrived, even though it doesn't seem to have moved, or at least they're opening the doors now, I guess. Whatever. Look at that. Whoa, that's that's a big girl. <laughs> and what? Is that it? Where's her husband? Hey. Aw. Well, that's no fun. This still doesn't explain anything about Eris. Oh. Well, that would make sense. I've heard of that happening more than once. One day... One day in the past... Oh, so she came, I guess, looking for her husband to come back each day for... I guess, assuming he might come back a different day for some reason. And we have... a mother and her child, and now what's going on? Oh, hmm. Please take Eris somewhere safe. So, why not? My husband doesn't come home, so I'll adopt a child. Why not? In this case, it kind of makes sense. If you can't tell, Eris's true mother is uh, lying down there and she's dying. used to talk about everything. Well, she seems kind of talkative and full of energy even uh, now. Escaped from a research lab, and her mother had already returned to the planet. Oh, well that's kind of interesting. She seemed to know that she was an ancient even back then. She meant a star in the sky. Mysterious child. Well, yeah, kind of. They, I like the way they kind of cut back and forth between the, the flashback and the, the actual explanation to Barrett and Cloud and Tifa there. It's pretty cool. Don't cry. Huh. What happened? Someone dear to you is just a... What a horrible thing to say. 
already returned to the planet. That's the second time we've heard that line. Hmm. But, of course, well, she's psychic? Well, not really, but, uh, eh, it gets explained later. I'll be saying that a lot through this series. A lot of things take a lot of time to explain, and when it's going to be like, you know, two discs away for certain things, I might decide to, you know, make a spoiler warning and go and talk about it, but who knows. Return. So that's who was researching Eris before, I guess, was the, uh, the Shinra Corporation, maybe even specifically the Turks. It's never really explained. Uh-huh. She was an agent. The people of this world seem to know what that means. We, as players, don't have much of a clue. Though it doesn't seem to be as big a deal in this game as it does in, say, Final Fantasy XIII, where they drop who knows how many different terms on you and groups of people and ancient beings all at once. In this case, it's one term, and it's at least a word in the English language that we can relate to. It's not some weird made-up words, as in Final Fantasy XIII. You don't, and she runs away. Apparently at that time, the Turks weren't just going to kidnap her. They were actually going to request that she be returned, like, properly. Ah, huh. well that's probably not the best approach, but I don't know. I'm not a parent. I did study a little child psychology, though. Yeah, she must be pretty tough. She seems pretty tough. Not the best physical attacker, but she knows what she's doing. Why now? Oh yeah, Marlene. Couldn't get away fast enough with a child on your shoulders or however she wanted to carry her. And so she made an exchange. Of course it's Marley. Who else could it be? And of course this is Barrett's reason to stick in the story at this point. Considering it's pretty obvious at this point Cloud's going to do something heroic. He is the hero. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, he's torn like a lot of parents are between their spending time with their family and spending time at their jobs to feed their family. What a crappy world we live in where that's the choice we have to make. Living our life or spending half of our life doing something we probably don't like in order to support a life that we have only half the time to spend doing something interesting with. And even though I explained that word in a very awkward manner, you should be able to understand what I'm talking about. I'm sure everyone's got, uh, yeah, see Barrett's going in circles, I'm going in circles. You know what I'm talking about, Barrett knows what he's talking about, and that's good enough for me. Anyway, we, you go up and see her. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Um, hmm, next time we will uh, go check on Barrett and uh, figure out what heroic thing Cloud's going to do now. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.